Today we are going to uh, review a quick revision for a previous system. Then we are going to start with a new lesson, which is biomes, section three in chapter 15. As we learned yesterday, the difference between climate and weather, we said uh, weather is day-to-day -day temperature, precipitation, condition, uh, again, uh, wind condition, day to day, okay? But a climate is uh, a basic factor that affects biosphere and it's a long-term uh, pattern of weather, okay, which includes uh, uh, average temperature, humidity, and precipitation amount. Okay, we said also here that what the climate includes when we talk about the climate. This includes we are talking about average temperature, precipitation, and relative humidity. Key factors shape an area's climate. That means what the meaning of key factors that shape an area's climate? What affects what affects the climate are temperature, sunlight, water, and wind. There are microclimates, uh, which is a climate of a small place within a larger area. As an example, this small microclimate in a log of a tree where some fungi live. And here it has different climate from uh, the whole area around. Okay, now we, uh, the scientists, uh, uh, divided these climates to three zones according to the temperature and the precipitation amount. Okay, they divide them to three zones which are polar, tropical, and temperate. Polar zones, which, which are at the far northern and southern regions of Earth, characterized by very cold, very, very low temperatures and snow. Tropical zone, it surrounds the equator and it's uh, characterized by uh, yeah, you know, the whole year, it's warm and rainy, okay? Uh, temperate zones, uh, which is the area between the equator and the polar, and this half season, this half season, okay? Now, we also uh, learned that what determines an area climate, what determines Okay, what determines an area climate? We said before in the previous slide. Uh, is my voice clear for you all, guys? I want yes, to make... it's clear. Ah, okay. And now we, we said here, you know, factors shape an area climate, temperature, sunlight, water, and wind, right? What shape it? Okay, I and mean, what affects it? What influence the climate? First, we talk about the sunlight. Brent, can you tell us about the sunlight? How the sunlight shapes the uh, climate? How the sunlight? Brent, can you remember? Hello, Rand. Can you remember how the sunlight affects the climate or shape it? No. Okay, the team. Can you remember? I'll be up there for. Uh, okay. Just one minute, guys. Now, is it better? Is my voice better now? Hello? Yeah, I can hear you. I don't know the others. Okay, Brent, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Yeah, yeah, Rand. We, we were talking about climate, okay? What determines mm -hmm. climate? Yani what affects the climate? Ehna, the first thing is sunlight. Can you explain for us in your own words how the sunlight affects the climate and shape it? The, yani the climate, oh. the, when the sun. Hayil, hayil, hayil earth, hayil earth, hay sun rays, mm -hmm. okay? How the sun affects the uh, climate? When the sun uh, strikes the, Bravo. or directly strikes the earth, yes. it's it will be warmer than the other side. Bravo, which travels because yes, this is direct striking, 
okay? And when there is the angle, because the earth is sphere, it's curved, the, mm -hmm. uh, on, on some parts of the earth, there will be angle between the direction of the uh, sun's rays and the earth's surface. And this will, uh, will cause a diffusion of the heat of the sun. Hold in this part, the heat of the sun will be direct, it becomes very warm. But when you go further from the sky, the time you're glitching or lagging again. Your, your voice is lagging. Oh, Allah. Yes. So now. Adi, Ululi, I will repeat, okay? If something uh, was not clear, tell me that you don't hear, I will repeat it. Now you can hear me? It's still lagging. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong with the internet. Okay. I'm trying to fix it, but it's connected. No problem here. Now. Now. Yeah. yeah no. right. Okay. Anytime, anytime during uh, the class, if it lags again, please tell me. I will repeat. All right. Now, here <laughs> we said as the uh, rays of the sun strike directly the earth at the equator, this will heat the uh, region too much. This will have high temperature in the whole year. But when you go further from the equator, you see the direction of the sun rays, okay? It will strike the earth at an angle. It's not direct. And this angle will increase while you are go further, right? Clear, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Ah, tamam. So, عشان هيكون when it go further and it has more angle, this will cause the heat of the sun to diffuse, to diffuse. It was that الحرارة. أما هون بتكون direct. Okay. All right. We said in also what affects the sunlight. How does it affect the earth? Not only by direction, also because the earth it is tilted. إحنا قلنا the earth is not tilted, it's not straight forward. It's tilted from its axis. So the part which is tilted toward the sun, it will be during the year, مثلا, we said when, when the part is tilted toward the sun, it will have summer time. The part which is tilted away from the sun, it will have winter time. So the angle of the sun's rays has determined an area of climate also. All right? All right, um, now, this is for the sun. There are another two factors that shape the earth. I showed you them yesterday in your book here, it's a small here. Can you see the page in the book or not? Can you see the page in the book, guys? Hello. My yes. Yes, yes, yes. Problem in the voice again? No, not really. I don't think so. Yeah. All right. Now, can you see this page? Justine, can you see it? Is it clear? It's a still screen sharing. It's loading. But um, doesn't share yet? No. Okay, I will share it yeah, again. Yeah, now. Uh, there it is. Huh? All right. So the first thing that shaped the climate or influenced the climate is on the sunlight with tilting of the earth. No, no, we can't see, we can't see. You can or you can't? Okay, I will share it again now. Can you see it now, look? Can you see it now, guys? Yes. 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 Okay, so the first thing that, uh, the first thing that uh, shaped the earth, uh, sorry, shaped the climate, uh, of an, an area on the sunlight will earth tilting. The second thing is the air and water movement. 
نعم احنا عم نعرف انه ال ال sun will heat the earth صح؟ but not only the earth will be heated also the air around the earth and the water they will be heated and we learn that when water or air become it will have more temperature or warmer it will be less dense less dense so they can rise up تمام you understand this point all of you is that when the air and the water become uh, warmer can you repeat ah when air and water become warmer okay they will become less dense and can rise up rise up تمام let's talk about the air هلا ال air when it become warmer it rise up miss your bagging again <coughs> again strong can you repeat again okay now when the air become warmer Hello guys, can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me? Hello? Hello guys? Yes, miss. Okay. So again, the air, when it becomes warmer, it will be less dense, yani a half. So it will rise up. Okay? And the colder air, it's heavier, diamond hai marufa, the colder air, it's heavier, it will uh, move down, and it's a little When the air becomes warmer, it rises up, تمام? when it rises up, it will cool again. When it rises up, it will cool again. It will cool again. Hala, hai tropical area, مثلاً, it's very warm. So, how the warm it's air? It's lagging again. Oh, I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with the internet today. I don't know what's going to the internet. Okay, now we have a theme. The theme now. Sure. Okay, when uh, when it go, when uh, the uh, warm uh, air rises up, okay, it will cool. احنا بنعرف فوق كل ما طلعنا فوق بيكون ابرد الطقس صح؟ وبيكون near the, the earth it's warm and it rises up when it rises up it will cool هلا في هاي المنطقه اللي تروبيكال مثلا عندي انا humid في عندي humidity ايش يعني humidity؟ في رطوبه اوكي؟ هلا cooler air cannot hold this humidity اللي هي water vapor so precipitation will happen and بس ما في صوت يس يا سامي هيك نو صوت ما في صوت هيك الو وقف الصوت ما في ناو اي اوكي مس ام سوري فور ذس انترابشن اي دونت نو واتس رونج وذ ذا انترنت توداي can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. So, okay. So I will go to this. Maybe this is better here. Okay. So we said that. Not this part. Not this part. Now. Is it lagging again, guys? No, the now it's not lagging. That's perfect. Is on. I don't know how the air will move because it will become warmer when the sun heats the uh, land mass. It doesn't heat the land mass. Uh -huh, good, good. So, we not the sun not only heats the land. Also, it heats the, and the earth's surface. Also, it heats the air and the water. 
وقلنا إنه ال air and the water when they become warmer they will be less dense. ال air will لما يكون warmer it will be less dense so it will rise up. When it go up it will cool. راح يبرد لما يطلع فوق. فأنا عندي مثلاً في tropical area شو اللي بيميزها؟ ليش دائماً في عندي precipitation ومطر كتير rainy؟ Because هذا ال warm air when it Uh, rises all the time, it rises up when it cools, it cannot hold moisture. And I have a water vapor, a clear tube in the tropical area. So, this tube is made of drops of water. This cold air cannot hold this uh, moisture, so it will rain, precipitation will happen. But, temperature, for example, will precipitation, a high amount of precipitation in the tropical area. هم بيعملوا shaping لهذا الكلايمت في tropical area. Do you understand? Also برضو ال air هذا when it moves it causes currents in the water. كيف ال water بصير في عندها moving strength currents أمواج. Okay من ال air this moves the uh, the current of the water. بيعمل currents in the water. Not also the air that causes the uh, moving of water or currents in the water. برضو ال air rotation مش الأرض بتلف. This will cause moving in the water. The salinity, which is the salinity of the water, also. Okay. So this, all this, it will affect and shape the climate. Okay. Okay, guys, still here? Just tell me yes or no. Yes, miss. Ah. Okay. Hello. So the last thing that affects the or shape the climate. Because now it's sunlight. ثاني إشي air and water movement ثالث إشي land masses هلأ أنا في عندي طلعوا هون at this picture في عندي areas بتكون near to the coast نسميهم coastal areas نهم near the sea or the uh, seashore وفي عندي inland land masses بتكون على inland inside away from the seashore زي يعني Jordan مثلا okay? هلأ هدول اللي بيكون فيهم more water bodies بيكون عندي دائما اللاند الارض اليابسه it will change temperature uh, and cool uh, warm quickly يعني بتبرد وبتسخن بسرعه اسرع من المي تمام فاللاند ماسز اف بيكون عندي انا كانت uh, hard land and it's away from the coast نسميهم inland away from the coast away from the ocean او الووتر باديز رح تكون It, it changes its temperature quickly. To broad, يعني it uh, can become heated or warmer and colder more quickly. أما the water لا. The water تأخذ وقت to change temperature. هاي طبعاً characteristic لل water. يعني هيك the water طبيعتها إنه it doesn't it change temperature easily. فبنلاقي إحنا the mass أو the areas which are inland areas they change in temperature quickly. هدول بتلاقوا فيهم seasons more بتلاقوا فيهم كثير الفصول اما ال areas which are coastal areas near the ocean هون شو بكون عندي؟ بكون عندي smaller changes in temperature ما بكون كثير دائما اغلب الاحيان بكون ال temperature uh, the same اوكي okay? smaller change during the year تمام بكون عندي high humidity طبعا لما تروح على البحر في كثير رطوبه higher humidity ليش؟ لأنه كثير عم بصير عندي evaporation من الووتر والووتر فيبر بيكون في الجو وبيكون عندي more precipitation أما باللاند ماسز أو ال inland areas بيكون large changes بيكون عندي seasons بيكون عندي less precipitation أوكي؟ okay? فكثير بيأثر وين ال area is it, is it coastal or it is inland لهون واضح؟ is it clear now guys؟ صوت واضح؟ Yes, yes. Ah, is that how do they have the three things that shape the climate? They have the sunlight, will air and water movement, and the last thing is the land masses, which means in this area is it inland or coastal area. The last thing is the mountains. There is some effect of the mountains, and the mountains. You know, we have the mountains on the side of the mountain. Okay, the top of the mountain. And at what rate can we get more precipitation, rain, at the top or at the side of the mountain? What do you think? Where is where it is cooler? Ah, where is it cooler? At the top or at the side of the mountain, down the hill? Where is it cooler? At the top or at the side of the mountain, down the hill? Down the hill. 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 Down the hill
مين بيكون عندي كولر يعني؟ The question. The question is where where is the temperature uh, colder in the sides of the mountain down the hill or up near the top? Yes, the same. Yes, the same. On the top, right? On the top, yes. right? Yes, when you go upper, it will be colder. صح? عشان هيك, if yeah. these if these mountains are near a coastal area like this one here, as you see in the picture, هادول حيكون في عندي uh, warm هون ال air or the water vapor when it rises up to the top of the mountain, it will cool more and it cannot hold the water vapor. So precipitation will happen more on the top. When you go down side the hill, it will be drier and cooler to use rain shadow, yani few. Rain is reduced, rain amount is reduced. Decreased precipitation. All right. And the last thing, as you see, because um, uh, different areas have different climates, so different organisms can survive in specific climates. And God, subhanahu wa ta'ala, after the full uh, animal adaptation. Shani adaptation? What's the meaning of adaptation, guys? Who knows? Uh, what? Yes, Rahme. What is the meaning of adaptation, Rahme? Rahme? Can you hear me? Uh, but all, uh, all, all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give each organism an adaptation. شو يعني adaptation؟ مين بيعرف؟ yeah. um, الصراحة مس I don't know. طيب أعطيكي مثال مثلا الكامل الكامل الجمل okay it can live in the desert okay what are the adaptations that give the camel the ability to live in the desert the desert فيها very decreased uh, precipitation uh, no enough food very very hot. كيف ربنا خلاص؟ so yeah, the hump. This is an adaptation. يعني هم characteristic that give the organism the ability to survive in its area. Uh, okay. هاي هي adaptation. ف the organism survive have adaptation that help them survive in a specific climate. تمام؟ فعندي مثلاً هذا the frog. هذا الفروغ it lives in um, uh, an areas اللي هم بيكونوا dry areas for 10 months during the year بيكونوا 10 months dry وبس بيكون عندي 2 months rain فهذا كيف عنده adaptation هذا الفروغ can burrow under the ground okay ليش to keep the water شو كيف it's burrowing here and uh, it can um, why it burrow inside to keep uh, the water inside, عشان the water don't evaporate out of its skin. بضل هنا. When the rainy season comes, it will go out, okay, to the pond and start to mate. But then the female will it lay eggs. They lay eggs uh, near the burrow, and the eggs will hatch before uh, the rainy season finish. And if they don't hatch, they will die. Bad adaptation, this is one kind of adaptation for a frog that can let this frog to live in this climate. It will be drier, more drier uh, climate during the uh, year. Okay, guys, any question till here? Now, so we finished. No, this. I don't have. Okay, so we finished this uh, lesson. We have to start with new uh, Listen, biomes. Hello, did anyone hear about this word before biomes? What biomes mean? Anyone have, have an idea? Yes, the same. What is a biome? Yes, the same. I'm listening here. Uh, it's like a place that has. It, it will. From the word biome, it's like a mystery lion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot hear you. Again, the theme. Try again, please. 
What is a biome? Hello, yes, Tasneem. Tasneem, hello. Can hello. You, yes, Ms. Can you tell us again what is a biome? It's like a, 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 an area or a place that has life and like biotic factors, right? Mazboot. Hey, the biome who is large. Like different habitats? Yes. He a large area, not small area, large area. Okay, هاي area is characterized by specific climate. كل أنا عندي six biomes and these six biomes, each biome, each area has a specific climate and uh, this climate has specific temperature and precipitation and plant uh, communities, different plant communities. كل biome and the different plant communities different temperature or different climate, okay? So let's listen together to this video. I will send it also for you as a Hello guys, I will share this video with you and I will send the link for you to watch it. Please watch it again and understand it. So tomorrow we are going to continue this. I will start can, and tell me if you can hear. Terrestrial biomes are large geographic regions on land defined by their average temperature, average rainfall. Guys, can you hear? Grammarly does more. Guys, can you hear? Than you catch uh -oh, With Grammarly, on. you can find really good, no, perfect words. Okay. And dominant plant types. If the climate. Yeah, let's start. Terrestrial biomes are large geographic regions on land defined by their average temperature, average rainfall, and dominant plant types. If the climate in two separate areas are similar, you can expect to find the same type of biome in both these regions. Let's survey the major terrestrial biomes, beginning near the equator and finishing close to the poles. We will start from the equator, the middle of the Earth, the tropical rainforest, because in the middle of the Earth, the equator. And she will go Further apart from the equator till we uh, reach the north and south poles. Okay? So we are starting from the middle of the Earth's tropical rainforest. This is the first area which has specific climate and specific uh, communities of plants. Tropical rainforests occur near the equator and experience high rainfall ranging from 200 to 400 centimeters of rain a year and high average temperatures range. Well, these are the most important characteristics of this biome and they're located near the equator, high rainfall per year and high average temperature. It's warm the whole year. In between 25 and 29 degrees Celsius. The layered structure of tropical rainforest provides many different habitats and therefore a rich diversity of species. For example, you, have, you, you will find many, many types of living things there. Okay? Diversity means many types of living third, uh, things. For example, in a square kilometer of tropical rainforest in Central America, toucans, poison dart frogs, ant eaters, boas, and bullet ants may be found. Plants experience competition for sunlight because tall trees form a canopy or leafy covering that shades vegetation at lower levels. This results in few plants growing on the forest floor. Unfortunately, tropical rainforests are threatened by over-harvesting and habitat destruction by humans. Tropical rainforest biomes include the Amazon rainforest in South America and the Congo Basin in Africa. Oh, so where we find these? When you where we find this uh, biome, as she said, listen. Include the Amazon rainforest in South America in South and the America. Congo Basin in Africa. Yes. 
Savannas are found generally near the tropics and their dry regions, receiving only... Adolis savannas, they have another name, which is tropical grasslands. Savannas, the minute from the tropical, you will see it in your book as tropical uh, grasslands, okay? A dry region, low rainfall. 30 to 50 centimeters of rainfall a year. The savannas warm year round with average temperatures ranging between 25 and 21 in the savannas, few trees we have, not like the tropical rainforest. Tropical rainforests have very long trees and they have smaller uh, plants that live down at the bottom of the uh, forest. 29 degrees Celsius. Plants in the savanna are mostly grasses and shrubs with some trees. Examples of animals that can be found in savannas include large mammals such as lions, zebras, giraffes, and elephants. Fossil evidence suggests that the earliest humans originated in the African savanna. However, modern humans are overhunting the current large mammal inhabitants, such as the black rhino and the Indian elephant, which is a result and now endangered species. Desert. We start from the equator in the tropical rainforest. We call it further, start with the savanna, which are the tropical grasslands. Now, after the tropical grasslands, you go further, it's the desert biome. These are the driest of all biomes, characterized by low rainfall, averaging less than 30 centimeters a year. Although most people tend to think of deserts as being very hot, deserts can also be very cold. For example, temperatures can exceed 50 degrees Celsius in the Sahara Desert, or they can be as low as negative 80 degrees Celsius in Antarctica, which is considered a desert due to its low rainfall. Even in one desert, large temperature fluctuations can occur throughout the day. Plants found in deserts tend to be small and spread out with adaptations to dry conditions. Like the uh, cacti, for and some adaptations to live in this place, the whole desert, which is very dry, okay? And the amount of the precipitation is very low during the year. So they have adaptations because they have long tap roots, the little cacti and long tap roots, such as long tap roots or the ability to store water, such as they store water for the days with shortage of rain. Okay. Seen in cacti. Desert animals are also adapted to low water consumption.